Welcome back to another Travel Flow video, and today we'll be taking a look at the iconic Qantas 747 Jumbo Jets in 2018. So Qantas announced they'd randomly be putting 747s on the Sydney Perth route due to pilot shortages. So the rest is history, I guess. My journey started at the famous check-in area of Sydney Airport's Terminal 3. This is the terminal where all Qantas domestic flights seem to leave from. With check-in done, it was now time to head airside. As we were quite early, our plane wasn't ready yet. This was a great opportunity to relax while getting work done and eat food of course, like this Krispy Kreme donut. Here is our plane approaching the gate right now. This is VHOJS, a Qantas Boeing 747 that was built in late 1999, making it about 19 years old. In September 2012 it got a major refit, so it should be a bit more fresher inside, but we shall see if that is true. The line for boarding was massive, it's obvious this terminal wasn't designed for the 747. Hello. Other side, right? Yeah, There we go. Thank you. Cheers. Hello. Thanks a lot. Welcome aboard the Qantas 747. Right in front of us is Premium Economy, with 28 seats and a 242 layout. This is their older product, which is different to the ones on their 787s. Now we're heading into Economy, where I will be seated. This aircraft has 270 Economy seats and a 343 layout. This is the same Economy seat found on the Qantas A380s. And we've made it to my seat 53A, which is of course a window seat and has a view of the massive wing. Nothing quite beats the takeoff in the 747, with its constant mechanical music and the wing that blocks your entire view outside. But anyway, four and a half hours to go. Let's take a look at the 2008 Qantas Economy seat fitted on this aircraft. Starting with the 10.6 inch touchscreen entertainment system. This system can do many things like watch movies, TV shows, play games or look at the flight path. Beneath the screen is the tray table and beneath the tray table is the seat pocket containing the standard safety card, motion sickness bag and the Qantas magazine. Hidden away underneath the seat is the foot net or, as I like to call it, the foot trampoline. It took me half the flight to find this feature. Also hidden away is the universal PowerPoint. On the armrest is the headphone jack, recline button, USB port and an ethernet port, which used to provide internet, but I think Qantas gave up on that. Today's in-flight service started with a bottle of water. And it continued with a meal. This is your standard Qantas domestic cardboard box. 
Let's see what we got as I tried to open the box with one hand. This is the chili beef which comes with rice and potato wedges. The meal also came with biscuits and cheese and a drink of my choice and my choice was apple juice. Let's eat. We'll start with the chips which intrigued me since I never thought chips would work on a plane and I wasn't wrong. The chips were so tender they fell apart and also impressively spongy. Anyway, not good. The rice was nice, except rice is really hard to stuff up, unlike chips. The beef was great, very flavourful and full of flavour. Except the portioning was a bit stingy, but that's because it was good. And that is another finished Qantas meal. Overall it was pretty good, but is not worthy of the Travel Flow Food Award. After dinner we had dessert, which is in the form of this Mars bar ice cream. Now as usual with Qantas ice creams, you need to check how safe it is to eat. The time came when I had to go to the toilet. It was interesting how noticeably older these toilets look when compared to newer aircraft especially the roof that is being held up by Qantas Integrity Seal tape. Apart from that, it got the job done and I was out. Down the back of the plane they had a drinking water fountain and a snack bar which I assume they never open on domestic flights. The rest of the flight was pretty uneventful. I got some much needed work done for a couple of hours while the crew provided me with drinks. Later on in the flight they came around with tea and coffee, which included a very dark lint Lindor ball. A great way to end a great flight. Before descending we got some amazing views while crossing the WA coast at Esperance. It's probably been 10 years since I've been on a 747, so I don't remember much. It was really interesting to see some relics from the past on the 747. Stuff that has been made obsolete on modern aircraft. The flight itself was rather good. Decent food and drink, decent seat and entertainment, and good service. Apart from one crew member who made me suspicious of something, but that's a story for another time. Anyway, I rate this flight 7 out of 10. After a pleasant four and a half hour flight, we've arrived at Perth. If you're returning to Perth, welcome home. And if you're visiting, we hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you for choosing to fly with Qantas and One World. We trust you've enjoyed your flight and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. And that wraps up another flight review. This was definitely a great experience and I would recommend hopping on one of these Qantas Jumbo Jets if you can get the chance. Before you go, I would like to ask a question. If I uploaded the takeoff and landing footage of a particular flight, would you watch it? Please answer in the poll in the top right hand corner. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.